So coming to the graph that is for VGS to be 0 I am getting ID is equal to VG by RS that is this point. So I have got two points joining the two points I will get a straight line. So I have got the straight line which has a slope which has the equation VGS is VG minus ID into RS right. Now what it implies whenever you have VGS 0 your ID will be VG by RS. Now what we can say the intersection of the straight line with the transfer characteristics curve this is your transfer characteristics curve in the region to the left of the vertical axis will define the operating point and the corresponding levels of IDQ and VGSQ. Right? This is how we find Q point in case of voltage divider bias. Now what you can say since the intersection on the vertical axis is determined by ID is equal to VG by RS and VG is fixed. You know it is how we are finding VG voltage across this resistance R2. You have R1 R2 value and the supply voltage to be fixed. So what you can say VG value rather than constant we can call it as fixed value for VG. So what can change is the value of RS you can have different values of RS. So what will happen to the value of ID if RS increases if RS is high can say ID will decrease because ID and RS are inversely proportional the higher the value of IS the lower the value of ID. So what will happen this point will come below right. So what you can say as the value of RS is increasing this point will fall below and what you can say your Q point is drifting below right. So what you can say increasing values of RS results in lower quiescent values of ID and more negative values of corresponding VGSQ. This will be your VGSQ this will be your IDQ for this point can say VGSQ and VGSQ. So this is more VGSQ2 has a more negative value as compared to VGSQ1 right here IDQ you can call is more as compared to this IDQ. So IDQ level falls and VGSQ goes to more negative value as your RS value increases right. What you can say in this case RS1 is greater than RS2. So your slope is you can say the line is more horizontal when your value changes. Now how to find VDS again KVL to drain to source loop will give you VDS which is VDD minus ID into RD plus RS. It will be VDD minus RD RS and here you have voltage VDS. So when you apply KVL from this point to this point you will get this equation right and VD will be VDD minus ID into RD. This is how we can find the voltage at the drain and voltage at the source will be ID into RS. Similarly current through resistance R1 current through resistor R2 will be the same which is VDD upon R1 plus R2. How R1 R2 current flowing through this is 0 VDD ground you have R1 R2. So the total current will be total voltage divided by total resistance. So we will get and the current flowing through both is the same because they are in series in this way we can find the total current. This is the analysis of voltage divider biasing. Thank you for watching in 5 minutes.